A local band and a songwriter are the latest people to show support. And to tell us more about that is Steve Miles, who joins us now live from the newsroom. Steve. Well, Cammie, while it's true, 11-year-old J.C. Dugard is still missing, support in finding her is very much all around us. Now, evidence of that is a local band and a local songwriter. For the band by the name of Perfect Circle, melodies come and go. But the group recently took on a new song that's sure to live on in the hearts and minds of the people who hear it. And whenever I sing it, sometimes it's hard to get through it. It really is, because it's a very sad situation. And I think we'd all like to see her home. You know, wherever this little girl may be, uh, the words got to spread around the country, and, and hopefully this will, you know, be a little bit to, to help that. We can only do what we do, and do as best as we can. And uh, I think when our heart's in it, though, that makes all the difference in the world. You know? And to be able to apply these things that are part of our everyday life to a cause, especially a cause like this, uh, it's a good feeling to be able to, to apply your talents to somewhere that it might do some good. We hope it would do some good. Truly a, a wonderful cause, a wonderful effort. Now, that song is soon to be recorded. All of the proceeds will go to the J.C. Lee Dugard Trust Fund that's been established. Cammie. It's really a wonderful song. Thanks a lot, Steve. I guess it helps the family a lot to know that so many people are so supportive. Yeah, I would think so. Maybe just the off chance. Something, something might happen. Let's hope. New Source 2 will be right back. J.C. Lee Dugard's family has maintained a high profile since her disappearance, passing out hundreds of thousands of flyers, canvassing several states in search of their missing daughter. Victoria Campbell continues team coverage with a look at the family's latest effort, a song in J.C.'s honor. We will smile. You have touched our lives and opened up our hearts. It's the latest attempt at getting J.C. back. And Terry Probin says it might be just what it takes for her to see her missing daughter again. I want J.C. to hear it. And I want the abductors that took J.C. to hear it. And know that um, she's in everybody's heart. J.C. J.C. Lee. Local DJ Larry Williams wrote the song, the band Perfect Circle played it, and Granny's House Recording Studio donated several thousand dollars worth of studio time to bring it all together. JC's mother Terry speaks a part on the song and it still brings tears. The song, simply entitled J.C. Lee, will be sent to every radio station in northern Nevada. It's all part of a vast effort to find J.C. Lee Dugard. Both singer and songwriter say they wanted to do their part. He brought the lyrics into me, and when I was done crying, I said I'd love to do this song. It was beautiful. It's been a labor of love being involved with a project such as this uh, for J.C. Lee Dugard. Throughout this seven-month ordeal, J.C.'s family has done everything they can to keep her picture in front of the public. Now they say they'll use the universal language to get their message across and keep J.C.'s memory alive until she comes home. Victoria Campbell, News 4 Reno. And that song will begin airing in the next few days.
There is a message in the music of the song J.C. Lee, performed here by Terry Gerard. A local DJ wrote the words after being inspired this Christmas from all the attention aimed at getting 11-year-old J.C. back with her family up at South Lake Tahoe. So far, the response from the song has been overwhelming, and J.C.'s mom says she knows the music will make a difference. They're going to hear the words and the meaning behind the words. It's a sincere, heartfelt effort to bring awareness to this abduction. Now, the recording will soon be distributed to all of the radio stations in northern Nevada, and it will be available at listeners' request. And a music video is also in the works. J.C.'s parents, Carl and Terry Probin, join Aaron in our studio. Aaron, Thanks a lot, Ed. Carl and Terry, thanks for joining us. What did it make you feel like the first time you heard this song? Oh, um, a renewed enthusiasm to searching for our daughter. Um, again, somebody has come forward and offered their support in helping to find JC and it just brings more public awareness and I think she, I want her to hear it, I want her abductors to hear it and know that we're looking for her. It makes me feel really good. Station disc jockey has written a song to help keep everyone's hopes alive. They're hoping that she'll be found safe and sound. Our David Morgan has a story. I had never thought of the idea of writing a song and so I was a little hesitant at first, and I thought, well, can we really do something like this? And, and yeah, we did it. We, the, with the band and Larry and, and everybody involved, we put it together, and it sounds great. Hopefully, uh, J.C. will hear it, kidnapper will hear it, you know, and uh, turn it loose. Or just, since it might have said, just keep it going, you know, just keep it in the news. Just keep the whole thing alive. I think somebody somewhere knows something. Um, it just takes that right phone call, something to click in their mind to say, yeah, I know JC, um, and call and, and let's get her home. The folks at Granny's House Recording Studio says the song is also going to be released in a music video. All we can hope is that somehow it all makes a difference and brings little JC home safely. In Reno, David Morgan for the KAME 10 o'clock news.